Hands down, America is the best country on earth. Yeah, I said it. You hear it all the time. But is that really true? I'll let your boy. Once again, it's Tim, the handsome liberal. And we're going to tackle this question today because this is something I often hear, particularly from right-wingers that I talk to. And predominantly anytime there is a conversation about illegal immigration, because we have such a significant problem with illegal immigration in America. And the question is, well, shit, America's obviously the best country on earth. Everybody wants to come here. So is it really the best country on earth? Hmm. Before we get into the video, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let me know at the end of the video what you feel about what we're talking about here. Hit the like if you like it. Hit the dislike if you don't. But whatever. Holla at your boy. Is America the best country on earth? Well, that really depends on what do you think or what qualifies good or high quality of life or high standard of living in your, your own personal definition. Um, in America, we're a capitalist country. No doubt we're strong, strongly based in, you know, making fucking money. And we tend to put money above every damn thing else. I mean, I don't care if you got, if you're dying of cancer, you got four ex-wives that hate you and kids that never met you. As long as you got a nice amount of money in your bank account and a business that's booming, you're considered successful because we place money above every damn thing else. But when it comes to things like um, how are our children doing in school? What is the life expectancy of a typical American? You know, shit like that. What is the crime rate in America? All of a sudden you start realizing that America probably is not the best country on earth. And anytime someone tells me that America is the best country on earth, the first thing I ask them is, where else have you been? Where else have you lived? I mean, you got to have a data sample to make this assumption, right? Where are, you, where are you getting your information from that leads you to think that there is no other country out there that is equal, if not better, than America? Well, if you've only been in the United States, you have no data sample. So where are you getting it from? Well, I see flies landed on kids' face in Africa, and I see, you know, bombed out ruins in the Middle East. Yeah, well, you're seeing what is brought to you by our media. And the weird thing is, the same folks who often say the media can't be trusted or everything you see on TV is fake news, then use what the media portrays to say that America is the best country on earth. You know, you, you got to get out more. That's the only thing I can say. But um, I'm going to just tell you straight out. No, I've, I've, lived in a, lived, I've lived abroad and I've been to several countries. And I will absolutely say that it really depends on what you... What you're satisfied with. Now, there are countries, for instance, that, well, maybe you can't have a car and two houses or, you know, two cars and a house and a picket fence and all of that shit, but you might live to be fucking 80. You may have health care and not have to worry about, you know, paying premiums and co-pays that you can't afford. You may be entitled to those two free years of college that President Biden and some of the right wingers are pushing for. A lot of this stuff you may get already. You may not have to work two jobs most of your working life to make ends meet. So it depends on what you place a hierarchy on because there are a lot of countries where the citizens of those countries do not work anywhere near as many hours or as hard as Americans do. So would you consider that something more valuable to you? How valuable is your time? I guess I would ask that question. How valuable is your time? Because if you're working two jobs, if you can't spend time with your children because you got to work and they're in daycare and both you and your wife work or your husband works, so you're not spending a lot of time with your spouse other than maybe on the weekends, if you're not doing overtime, is that a high standard of living to you? Because a lot of Americans fit into that category where daycare, the neighborhood, other family members are raising their children because they do overtime so damn much. But yet they're saying, oh, I'm in the best country on earth. I you know, I don't think that's a high standard of living, in my opinion. And I will say that that applies to a lot of Americans once again. So it just really depends. So next time you hear somebody say this or why does everybody want to come here? Well, shit, we share a 2000 mile border with a developing country, meaning Mexico, which also shares borders with a lot of third world countries, places like Venezuela, for instance. So you're going in Guatemala, Honduras, you're going to have all of that 
coming up here when they can easily just walk over the border and get into America. Whereas a lot of other countries do not have a border that is that long where so many people can cross. So that's the reason why America has a bigger immigration problem than a lot of other countries. But trust me, if a, if a Honduran or a Guatemalan or even a Mexican could get citizenship in France or Germany or Italy, they would take that shit in a heartbeat. It's not, it's just America's easier to get to. It's not like, well, America's the place I need to build. They'd happily live in Canada too if they could get there. It's just, it's the easiest place to get to. So once again, no, I don't think America's the best country on earth. I think it is in the conversation. I love living here, but there are a host of other countries that I would have no problem migrating to and could see myself being just as happy there. Well, shit, why don't you go there then? It's not that easy to relocate. It's, it's very costly, and to uproot your entire life is not that easy to do. So that would answer that question right off the bat. But what do you think? Do you believe the hype? Have you been abroad and really lived in a lot of other countries? When I say been abroad, I mean been to first world countries too. Don't come telling me where you served in fucking Afghanistan during the middle of a war and no, America's the best. Well, shit, I mean, of course we're going to be better than the country that we're dropping bombs on 24 fucking hours a day. So anyway, I'll let your boy, man, handsome liberal, just want to drop this on you because I hear that all the time and I think it's nonsense. Talk to you later. Catch you in the next video.